Jim, I'm going to throw it over to you at Fortinet. You all are right smack in the middle of enabling this capability, a piece of this capability, certainly for all of public sector and certainly private sector. Uh, to just give us a, a top line, state of the state. How's it going? Hey, Luke. Well, it's good to be with you again today. And, uh, you know, as you said, Fortinet is in the middle of the ecosystem. We've got a, a broad and deep set of capabilities. And what we're doing with our federal partners is focusing on helping them build the foundations for zero trust. Depends on whose model you look at. You've got, what, three to six pillars of doing it. And as challenging and it can, as it can be for our federal partners to do zero trust in an agency headquarters network environment, as my federal colleagues have described, it gets exponentially harder to do that for organizations that have a broader, a national or even global operating footprint. So let me give you a real quick top line of three different use cases of success stories that we've done over the past year with federal partners. Let me pull out, we've already talked a little bit about identity is, is a key, um, a user identity. We helped one cabinet agency recently create a capability to better enforce multi-factor authentication and to integrate this new capability with existing user identity capabilities such as PIV cards. And they're rolling that out for 40,000 users coast to coast. Device management and access control. Um, we've helped another agency identify and define security policy for headless devices on, on their network. We know those, of course, are, are a real bear. You can't, you know, that, that's the source of problems with IoT, et cetera. So when you get these devices on the network that have the potential to become rogue devices, we gave them the capability to integrate that device management and access control with other capabilities they had in their infrastructure to track the behavior of those devices and to be able to alert if they started displaying abnormal behavior. And then the whole policy enforcement and segmentation, that's another key to doing zero trust. We helped a third agency that had a really broad operational network infrastructure, a complex one, move the focus of their enforcement and policy core closer to the localized data, basically via better segmentation. So we gave them the ability to have smaller firewalls that still shared information and acted as a unified whole for the policy enforcement, the ability to have that synchronized and consistent. That's the core of zero trust. So again, you've got all these pillars and you've got a player like Fortinet that can say, we can help you both develop those. And people have already mentioned, I think it was implicit in what Brian said, integration. You have these dis disparate things. You need to make them work and play well together. So we're giving our partners the ability to introduce something new and to harmonize it with things they already have and in their infrastructure. 